Hey BookTube, um, yesterday I recorded a video um, and didn't put it up because I was, this is a lesson for everybody. When you have an idea about something and you're not sure about it and you're not even sure if you want to talk to anybody about it. Just say your idea and all the steps in it out loud. Maybe even record it and then watch it back. And in doing so, a lot of the times you'll realize where parts of your idea weren't great. Or um, you'll hear in your voice either hesitation or... Um, just not a lot of confidence when you touch on certain things. And that's a really good way to see if the idea you have is crap or if parts of your idea are crap that you need to hone in on. And what the video I put up yesterday, there wasn't any parts where I thought they were crap but there were parts where I noticed that um, I was not as confident as I should be. So I thought a little bit about it and thought about the things where I felt I didn't sound confident. And um, changed those up, did a little bit of research, and um, now I feel pretty good about everything. So now I'm going to spill my beans wait for it I have a hot cup of coffee whoo all right I don't know why I'm making such a big deal about it I put it in the title of the video I'm sure but um, weird mask is back again um, now weird mask is going to be very different from now on um, in the sense that Weird Mask is not only going to be um, a zine, but it's going to be a magazine. And it's not only going to be a magazine, but it's going to be the parent publishing imprint of um, all the stuff I'm doing. And I have... Um, irons in the fire for a little bit later down the road um, that will come out of this which I'm even more excited about but I don't want to a bite off more than I can chew and B um, not make a bunch of promises right here that aren't gonna come to fruition for like a year or so so basically <clears throat> um, how I did weird mask before was it was kind of like a Xerox looking paper zine which is awesome and I love the um, nostalgic feel of it and well, I can't remember the word I'm trying to say the aesthetics of it I love um, but at this time living where we're living with the equipment that I have, um, it's actually harder to make a crappy looking product. So, um, I had to swallow my pride on a couple things. And, um, so that part is being changed up. <clears throat> Another thing that I really loved doing um, almost more than the Weird Mask Zine itself was the Time Mazine. The Time Mazine was all of this um, classic public domain kind of stuff, and I just absolutely loved it. Um, and that was just like a passion project for me. It didn't really um, bring in a ton of money or anything like that, and it probably shouldn't. But it was just a fun thing to do. So now moving forward, what's going to happen is the 
website itself, because if you remember, <clears throat> um, issues 1 through 20 were print only. And then 21, 22, and 23 were online only. And then issue 24 was in print only. Um, so now what I'm going to do is utilize the website a lot more. But I'm going to utilize the website in a sense that it's going to focus on stuff that was in the time machine and um, articles. So like... Um, how to write like this. Um, what's the difference between this genre and that genre? Um, little history lessons, uh, blah, 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 blah. And there will also be a podcast um, that basically talks about those same things, which is super fun. Um, and then there will be the print magazine. And I say magazine this time because it's going to be um, more of like an anthology book. There will be print versions of that and there will be um, electronic versions of that. So um, more likely than not, the print versions will be printed on demand on Amazon so they'll be on the Amazon store, and if you have your stuff in it, it'll be, like, on your author page and all that fun stuff. Um, the electronic versions, I don't know if I want to do on Amazon or not. Um, that's one thing that I'm on the fence about, if I want to sell them directly or if I want to do them through Amazon. And that's for right now, because eventually I would like to... Um, and one of the things I'm going to be pushing to do is get a foothold into um, distribution um, for certain retailers, which um, I guess is a trade industry secret right now on my end, so I will not reveal um, that part of my master plan. But the other thing is, um, as far as format goes, format I would like to do a little bit different um, I would like to have because we're going to be doing um, these like digest anthology type deals I want to go so far as to like have a novella in there um, maybe something broken up into two or three parts um, over two or three issues, um, and then short stories. So I'm looking at about um, 50 to 60,000 words per issue. And um, I'm trying to figure out when... I don't know when this is going to start. I'm going to start working on the website. I think I'm going to revamp the whole thing. But I really wanted to get the thoughts out there that um, there's if there are any writers out there um, please hit me up um, with your stories um, or novellas or even novels you want broken up or whatever um, I'll have an email down below if you just want to start conversing with me um, this morning I got a really cool story from somebody who I didn't even know was a writer um, and did some editing to it and sent it back over to see if they are happy with it. And if they are, then we're off to the races. So that's really cool. Um, and also, if there's any artists among you, if there's any um, marketing people out there who are watching this who want to help out um again this is early stage stuff and um it can only grow from here so um if you have any skills that you think might be useful they probably will be so um definitely um 
hit me up and let me know what you can do and I'll see if we could like fit you in somehow. So anyway, um, that's the news. I'm really excited and I um, hope you guys are too. And yeah, so we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.